E. Ooh. Home cooking made effortless. This is actually a lot of effort. This is about 20 pounds. Okay, so this is the Tavala Smart Oven. And uh, as you can see, it comes in a fairly big box. This is generation two for 2019. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little quick unboxing, talk a little bit about this oven. This is basically a really smart oven. Um, there are a lot of, there are about at least three other main companies that I can think of that make um, smart ovens in this type of space. But this is the only one that I found that has a uh, six month completely risk-free trial period. And um, also has a, a complete meal plan that uh, works with it. It's a little bit more affordable and it's more one of those things where you take the, um, the meal plan uh, packaging and just basically unbox it and throw it in the oven, scan a barcode and you're good to go. So it's like perfect for the uh, current millennial generation or the Uber generation or the people who like using Dashlane. This is a way to get gourmet meals directly uh, to your house and onto your table within, I think generally, I saw that the recipes generally take about 20 minutes or so. So, okay, they don't, they definitely don't make this really easy to get out because there's no grab handles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plop this carefully onto the table here. So the meal plans start out at $12 each. Uh, I do believe that they're all about 12 hours um, um, each. And if you do for the subscription model, uh, there are some incentives from time to time where they give you $100 off the total. Otherwise, the oven is about $300, $250 or $400. It depends on, on uh, what kind of meal plan that you get and what kind of promotion they have going on at the time. Now it's time to mention that I'm not sponsored or endorsed by Tavala or any of these companies that I'm talking about. Um, but if you are interested in getting one of these, I'll have links down below. I'll have two different links. I am an Amazon affiliate. And number two is there is actually a Tavala affiliate program. So uh, I think it's great that they allow you to try it completely risk-free for six months. So if you do intend on trying something like this out, uh, might make sense to go through Tavala directly because of the six month free shipping and return. It's great. And if you use my link down below, my referral link, you also get $30 off uh, your purchase of the oven. Okay, so let's see. So I have this kind of upside down right now and I'm sorry. So um, I see here that we have at the very bottom we have some accessories, including the Tavala Steam Oven User Manual. This will steam, bake, and broil uh, all in one. So I think this is the only smart oven so far out of the other sets that do the steaming uh, as well. Uh, the other ones um, have other things going for it, okay? So um, I'll just go ahead and just say that this, the steaming option is pretty nice because it'll help ensure that your food comes out a bit more moist than the competition and hopefully cook a little bit faster, more efficiently by allowing a different type of cooking option. Okay, so we'll take a closer look at that in a bit. This looks like, actually, I'm not sure what this is. We'll find out what this this thing is. It it's, uh, looks like a relatively cheap plastic. And for those of you guys that, are, are, um, that know about this uh, oven and have more comments, please, you know, go down below and let me know uh, about some of the things, but from what I've read about the Gen 2 versus Gen 1, and this is Gen 2, is that this was um, an improvement in the old machine in a couple of ways. Uh, I think the Wi-Fi is a little bit more stable, for one thing. Uh, the price is roughly about the same when it came out, but they also made it smaller so that it's only 20 pounds versus 30 pounds, and this will fit a lot better on a traditional uh, countertop versus the old one. So I never saw the old one in person, but I did see some uh, videos online, just like you're probably looking at right now, about the Tavala, and uh, there's not as many videos about the Gen 2 as there is uh, for the, um, the Gen 1. Um, so they've also added a bunch of dials that make it a little bit easier to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom the camera here. Okay, 
So, so they added a bunch of dials that did not exist on a previous one that make it a little bit easier. They're manual dials. Um, and you know, first impression is this is, this looks like a relatively cheaper product. And that, that's probably why uh, they made a Gen 2 to make it a little bit more cheaper and small at the same time while potentially increasing profits. I do, I did read that there were some issues that were fixed, of course, so it definitely makes sense to get the Gen 2 versus getting the Gen 1. Um, but um, I gotta say that the, the fit and finish of the plastics on here look quite a bit more cheaper than um, some of the competition, but some of the competition also costs like a thousand dollars, right? And I'm talking about like, like the, uh, the Brava oven. Okay, so there's a couple of dials here. There's a scanner here that will scan the, uh, the barcodes of the foods that you do. What's ki one kind of interesting thing is that this will now fully support uh, Trader Joe's foods. So you can, you can go ahead and just scan the barcode of Trader Joe's foods, it'll program it, and you won't have to um, go ahead and set the, uh, the temperature and, and, and the, um, the length of time and the mode uh, that is needed to cook it optimally according to the packaging on Trader Joe's. So that, that's kind of neat. Another thing is you can also customize the different programs as well to go ahead and set up uh, the different uh, cooking styles you want. So you're not limited to, of course, just cooking with their prepared meals, which of course there are, I looked online, there's about 60 different varieties for you to choose from uh, at any given time, um, but uh, you know, they are $12 uh, a meal and, um, you know, you'll, you'll definitely do a lot better if you try to cook it yourself. But if you really want something that's kind of ready to go or if you don't know how to cook well, like myself, uh, this is something that could be pretty useful, but it gets pretty, pretty pricey really quickly. Let's say for a family of four, you get four meals at $12 uh, a piece. That's $48 every meal. It's not definitely not something that you're going to want to be doing um, all the time unless, uh, unless this is a better alternative for you to, versus eating out. So I can see if you live in an area where they don't have a lot of great food or delivery or DoorDash or something where you have a lot to choose from, this could be perfect for you. Okay, so this is the accessory packet and pans and stuff in there. Um, looks like they didn't really make this really easy to open because they just flat on taped it on there. I'm just gonna rip this off here. Looks like there is the uh, Tavala steam oven with Tavala IQ user manual for the second generation. And it gives you a little bit of details about what's in the box. Okay, so this thing is a drain tray, by the way. And then of course the crumb tray, there's a steamer cover that produces, uh, that will cover the steam, I guess, covers your oven steamer. Uh, oven rack, sheet tray, a hot pad, measuring cup, and a quick start guide and recipe cards. Here's the quick start guide. Right, and then uh, just just a nice little mat. It's it's really nice that they've added some of, some of this stuff, especially for the relative price point. Here's the steamer cover, and of course the the uh, the drip tray, and then here is of course the sliding rack here. No, actually this is the drip tray. The drip tray where they've put everything here inside here, having plastic. I guess first impressions. I'm looking on the inside, and it actually the rest of the oven part looks pretty darn similar to a regular oven. Um, nothing particularly special about it. The accessories also don't um, scream a lot, of, a, a lot of quality as well, but um, you know, I think the whole deal with this is about their uh, food uh, delivery service, which, uh, which of course I'm really interested in trying out because if this works out really great and we can find some good, decent food selections, uh, this could be really great for certain families. And in particularly mine with my parents, they need to have a specific diet. And of course, as I'm getting older, I need to eat a little bit healthier than just uh, just eating out or just eating the delicious foods that my wife makes, which tends to be a little bit less healthy, but ultimately very delicious. Okay, the, the drip tray fits in really nicely. I like that. That's that's kind of almost, almost, uh, well, it's good enough. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Here's the rack, which has what? The rest of this looks like a regular oven, of course, minus the steam. And of course, there's a fan over here on this side that is for the convection portion of it. And you got the boi boiler uh, heating element up top. 
You got the two heating elements down below. Nothing really special about that. Unlike, um, unlike the more, I'll compare it to the more expensive oven uh, that I saw over at Consumer Electronics Show, which was, I believe the Brava uses quartz elements, which gives you more precise uh, cooking temperatures and immediate heating up. Uh, zero to 500 degrees in little to no time. But that is also $1,000 too. And that doesn't include any meal plans whatsoever. So Tavala actually has a couple of series of videos that show you how to get things set up. Uh, I'm just gonna have you go ahead and refer to there. If I see anything really different about that, then um, I'll be sure to note it. But uh, basically this is Wi-Fi enabled, so you can go ahead and get notifications and stuff. And you can actually configure things to set from, I guess, the smartphone, which, I, which obviously I haven't tried at this point because this is just the unboxing. But really the key point in this is of course that you have a built-in QR code scanner or barcode scanner right here, which will scan the foods that you, um, that you can subscribe to. For me, I'm trying out the minimum plan, which is three uh, meals, I think a week or a month, something like that. Three meals, I'm gonna try it out. And if, you know, if you're really interested in, in seeing what the quality of the results are, please comment down below and maybe I'll do a follow-up video and show you some of that. Or I might just leave it on my website or blog at mikemoo.com. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up the rest of this oven and uh, maybe just try to heat up some things. Maybe I'm gonna bake some cookies a little bit later uh, just, just to try it out because this is kind of a regular oven, just a little bit upgraded. And I'm gonna find a place for it. It's definitely gonna take a little bit of uh, counter space, which is always a premium in most kitchens anyways, especially here in uh, Southern California. Remove packaging silicone from your oven and accessories. Remove any plastic from the crumb tray found at the bottom, then slide the crumb tray back in place. Uh, so always have this guy inserted on the bottom. That's great. Uh, slide a, a, the drain tray, into the front of your oven underneath oven door. So this guy is gonna go right down below. Ah, oh, it does the job. I suppose that's fine. Not the best quality, but... Hey, let's make this more affordable. Plug the oven directly into an outlet. Uh, place your oven on a level and sturdy surface. Leave at least three inches within the back inside your oven, six inches between the top of the oven and, and any other surface. Uh, exterior gets hot during use. Please take necessary precautions. Cover, okay. Oh, so this is gonna do the steamer part. Cover the steamer with the three, the steamer cover. It's stainless steel. Oh, the steamer's over in the back, toward the back. Okay, place. The steam cover should slide down where in a place with the tech steamer facing towards you. Okay, so we have this guy down below. Right? And this is the steamer. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's inside. Put that guy in place. Hmm. Okay. Finally, open up, slide the oven rack in the lowest rack position with it like this. So this is the way that it's supposed to go. Down the road. Okay. And uh, fill the measuring cup with eight ounces of cool, eight ounces of cool filtered water, open the lid reservoir and pour directly into this thing. I gotta tell you this lid, it looks a little bit flimsy. Um, eight ounces maximum, pour slowly. And then after that, I connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, great, that was, uh, seems pretty easy to get that stuff all set up. Nice little mitt slash uh, pad. And then they actually give you some, um, let's see, Directions, large mold, place an oven, start. Oh, they give you, they give you a nice, uh, couple of nice uh, DIY uh, recipes on here. Shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad is one of them. And yeah, we'll go and try try some of these out. I'll probably uh, do this later. Yeah. This piece 
piece of the boiler pan. All right, going back on a fit and finish of this, I've noticed this about the oven. Um, you see over here, the gap is a little bit off on a door. Look at that. And you go all the way over here and the gap is quite a bit wider. And then there's no seal. Like they put these rubber seals here, but it's not even touching. So really um, all the heat is if, the, if this needed it to be sealed, and I haven't used it for steam in yet, um, this is not doing it right there. So, the fit and finish of this product uh, definitely doesn't match up to my expectations of the company. So this is the oven setup. I'm going to go ahead and see as you can do, you can, obviously the Gen 1 is still supported, but here we are setting up the Gen 2. I'm going to connect to the oven. Make sure you are near your oven and Bluetooth is enabled on your phone. Okay, it looks like I found it. Oven identifier is there. I'm going to select my network. Uh, okay. Mine's Tavala. Let's just call it oven. Looks like the registration is going on. Transferring the Wi-Fi information via Bluetooth to the unit. I see a bunch of lights flashing and it's waiting for the oven to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi. You hear that sound, you made a little bit of beep, register in the oven. Now it's going to install some updates to the oven, which is, you know, software updates, improvements, fixes, things like that. And then after that, it should technically be ready to cook. Okay, that's it. Enable push notifications. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. This way I'll know when things are done. Uh, I guess that's it. Then I can go ahead and pick from the type of um, thing that I'm going to be cooking. And of course, let's see. Roasted bone and stick on chicken. Interesting. Cool. Tells you what to do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, when I get my first food delivery thing, I'll go ahead and post a little bit of an update too. Might be video form, might be photo format. Let me know down below if you're really curious. And if I don't see a whole lot of people that are interested in it, I might just do a follow-up uh, review after this at the end of a couple of months of actually using this and the service. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.